Camille McIntyre. Camille was born in, and raised in Rochester, New York. She is a graduate of Wheatland Chalai High School and continued her education at SUNY Empire State College, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Management and Economics. Camille has worked effortlessly in the youth development field for more than 20 years, bridging the gap between high-risk youth and nonprofit organizations. She has served as the Assistant Director of Jazz Kids Christmas Program and started the Linnea A. Griffin March Madness and Mayhem Scholarship Basketball Tournament. The scholarship rewarded a local high school graduate with a thousand towards their college education. Camille also collaborated and worked with the City of Rochester's annual kickball against WDKX. Camille serves as the founder and creator of I Rock Women, which works to empower and build positive relationships between the women of different backgrounds and ethnicities. Love that. So, in effort to advance gender equality and empower women, she orchestrated one of Rochester, New York's most beautiful and memorable events, the 100 Women Photo Shoot. Do you guys remember that? I don't know if anybody was involved in that. It was like over 100 women in white and denim, 600 women attended. Girl, you should be on our committee. <laughs> We're gonna pull her, huh? We're gonna pull her on the committee. <laughs> I mean, we can go on and on and talk about how amazing she is. She's so sweet and she is, she just loves a lot of people. She supports people all the time. So um, we'd love to welcome you on stage. Shereen, you your award. Yes. Yeah. Thank you ladies so much. Thank you just so much. Um, I was really uh, shocked. Well, first, uh, giving honor to Jesus Christ, who is my life. Um, um, God, we gotta give thanks to him. But I was so uh, shocked and really um, not expecting this because I always say, or I always look at, you know, the women who are constantly doing things in the community, and you would think those would be the power moves, you know, those would be the movers and shakers. But you know, the Lord always has a way of reminding you that there's always somebody looking out for you. There's always someone watching you. And when I <clears throat> had the idea, it actually came to me in the dream uh, to do the photo shoot. I'm thinking, you know, I, I, you know, I at least know 100 women, you know, that would show up. So, you know, I, you know, kind of started and you know, just kind of see, you know, who would show up. And at first, it really didn't get too much traction. But then, you know, the wheels started to turn. And what was supposed to be 100 turned out to be 600. And, <clears throat> and God is so amazing because they always say you can never get so many women in the room. And I just have to give a shout out to you ladies because, you know, for you know, about two years, you've been able to orchestrate this. And honestly, this is something that the city needs. This is something really that the world needs because it's always women. We always seem to just clash, you know. And it's one thing to say, you know, wipe off that women's crown or elevate that queen, but it's another thing to do it, you know? And so we really need to start putting it to practice, not only to say it, but if I see you, or if I see you drowning, I need to reach out my hand and I need to lift you up, because we only get better when we extend our hand and we lift each other up. Thank you so much.